Oh, perfect. Hard bank all around. Start slow. Learn all these snags like that one there. Never retrieve back to the bank. I see a stick there, so I'll treat this like a surface lure. Now I'll bring it down. This one, little one. It's just using those sonics of the lure working along these edges. I need to draw something out pretty quick. Small old fish. More a few tips for the guys that are just getting into lure fishing. All right. First of all, I always carry pliers on me. Always. Where they are, who knows, but I always carry them. This is a brand new lure, so I'll try to get it out of his gob first. There's a little bass. He's going back. Four and a half flip. Get off that back. Ouch. No, get off me. Right, there's a couple of little things that I want to show you. First of all, if you're getting into lures, using a snap clip quicker, easier for changes, and it's all about sonics. Because we've got six nasty little travels here, getting the pliers, and I'm just gonna crush all these barbs. You can hear them crack, like they just crack off. That way when these little bass like that come up and hit, it's not a big job to get them out of their mouth. And if you do happen to get a lure in your hand, it'll come out. Just gonna walk up a bit to the next sort of hard bank section and start again. I'll come up here a bit further. Just gotta find myself a little perch where I can cast from. Here's a little stretch here with lay down timber, hard bank. Lot. So I'll give this one a go. Now as we approach the spot we want to fish, what I'm going to do is just flick a couple just like that. Swing down to the log, lift off a bit, straight over. Okay, so we cleared that area out. Just in case you're on this side. Same deal. Alright, let's check both sides. Now we can go to work on them. Once again, you can see all those midwater snags, so we don't want to just rip that lure down. We just start by learning the hole. Just try and bring that lure back to the bank. Any little sort of gap you can see like half surface, half diver action on. So I'll treat it like a surface lure, then I'll crank it down a bit. There, missed him. We got him. There's another one. Come on, get up. There he is. There you go. So there was no real technique to that, that was more just rolling him over the snags. Only a little bass, but I just wanted to give you guys an insight into hard body fishing for these guys. Now I've crushed the hooks. It's a lot easier for me to get this guy out. But I've still got to mouth him and I'm in an awkward position. So. Right there. You behave yourself, buddy. See how they twist themselves around. 
to the barbless make it a lot better and then you can have a look at that fish now that's where he got caught he's fine he'll be fighting again tomorrow gone oh, it's pretty easy getting that one it's gonna be hard finning through the big uh, the little guys to get to the bigger ones though I'll go over it again. It was like a surface lure here. And then I just ran him down there. Drew the fish. Let's see what else is about. Don't worry about casting short of the bank. Cast short and work your way into these spots as they go. You don't want to lose your lure, so just treat this like that game where you just want to go over the log down, up, over the log down. Doesn't matter how long you have to wait for it to float back up. So I just hit the bail arm then, I was going to go a bit too far with it. And once you get like areas of straight line like that, then you can speed up and get those sonics going. Go back in there again. Let's trick this little fella. Oh. 